Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. I'm getting ready to go out to do some plein air painting and I thought I would show you how I'm gonna set my French easel up for pastel. So this is my French easel here. I just have it sitting on my table um, and it's got a drawer in it. And in that drawer, we have, um, we have my oil painting supplies. And I don't wanna bring my oils, I wanna bring my, um, so that you can see I've got some oil, well, can you see that? got some oil pastels, I have some uh, oil, water mixable oil paints, you know, just cut some kind of basic, basic stuff there. But I'm going to load up my pastel. See that? It kind of comes up out from the back. There's like a little pin in there. And let me take this tray out. Now, the uh, the pastel pod thing that I got, I got it up for like 10 bucks at Jerry's Art Arena many years ago. It was on clearance. And I thought this will be great for doing pastel. So I had some fortunate, a fortunate event happen, and that was I bought some Sennelier pastels. And the little containers that the pastels came in, you can see right here, fit perfectly in these grooves. And then I took the foam that came on top and I just cut it out so that it would fit. Um, it would fit in there and then between that and this palette part going on top sliding in that groove It's gonna keep my pastels in the in one spot now I figured I can also use this when I could tape down some pastel paper to it and Set that on the canvas holder on my easel and use that to paint So I'm gonna bring UART paper because I won't need to use a bunch of fixative. It's sanded I'm just gonna bring that and some tape and let's let's load this up. So um I'm going to start with putting these pastels in there. I don't plan on filming while I'm out painting because it's just me. I might do like a quick reel or something, but um, I can take these and I think I'll probably try to go kind of color order, kind of in similar into the colors that were there before from Sennelier. But the reason I want to bring these and not Sennelier is because the Sennelier uh, are very soft, and while I like that quality, um, I prefer, like, when I'm going to be painting out somewhere, I want a little more versatility, and I just think that I'll have more versatility with a, with a firmer stick, so uh, that's why I'm going to do that. So um, I'm going to go put these in the tray, and then I will show you what I'm going to put in these areas back here. All right, I've put in the pastels. They're not perfectly organized, but they're not bad. Um, and then I put a, pe a roll of tape, a masking tape in here. I put a kneaded eraser and I put a few hard uh, square pastels in there just for like if I need to cut in a design and an extra white. And then I'm just gonna put a few of these eyeshadow applicators. These are, I get a box of like 120 for six bucks on Amazon and I'll reuse these and reuse these. And you don't need many because like just dedicate an end to a different color family and you're good. And I took two wipes and I put them in a little bag here and I'm just gonna put those right on top like that. Um, I don't know if I should put my, I might be able to put my paper like that and put this in there maybe. Oh, you know what? No, I can't do that. I gotta put my, um, I gotta put the foams back in. So let's see, this will be my maiden voyage with this pastel box. This is gonna keep my pastels from getting bumped around. They, uh, and as I'm using them, I'll just turn them, I'll just put them back in the same slots, but on their ends. So they're kind of, I'll know what colors I've used. Now everything I think is the right level. I have more room there. Maybe I should take, actually, I think I'll take a couple of paper towels and just fold them over there. So it'll just prevent them from getting broken. And I might need a paper towel to clean up anyway. So, uh, so that will probably be handy to have. That will just prevent that from getting, those from getting broken and be handy. I could, I might swatch, swap that out for like an old piece of cut up t-shirt, but there, that's going to work pretty well. Um, this had a little latch here that broke, so I might replace that. We're going to see. I don't think, hopefully that won't uh, slide out, but we shall see. All right, so I've got this back up. Um, oh my gosh, I've got like a gnarly spider web in there. Ooh, 
least they're not alive. Oh, this, uh... a... Ah, that one's not dead. Oh, little spider, we're gonna have to put you outside. Okay, brief interlude intermission. All right, tragedy avoided. I was able to safely remove the spider and I just placed him in a corner of the basement under the bulkhead where there's leaves and lots of stuff that it could, it can go and make it, seek its fortune and find its own way. But uh, safely out of the easel, that was a little alarming, but the show must go on. Now, if you look at the way this easel goes, this is such a weird way to film because usually you're not looking at this side of my room, you're looking at the other side. You can tip the base of this easel forward. I'm going to try to zoom out. I might be out as far as I can go. Um, you can tip the base of this. I'm going to back you up forward. How's that look? Um, so that the dust will fall down into the little tray. So um, if, if I have this set up that's standing up, the legs are out, I can, I probably wouldn't tip it quite that, that extremely forward, but um, there's a little tray down here that will catch the dust so it can fall down but not fall across the paper if necessary. Sand to paper, I don't think it'll be that big of an issue. So that's kind of a nice thing about this easel. Um, but I am just going to close this up and see if it will latch and hopefully, hopefully I won't have to worry about this falling out. I don't think it's going to fall out because of the catch in the back. But I think it's going to be nice and secure. Okay, I'm going to lift it up. Hold on, I can't see what the camera sees. We're going to lift it up and make sure that it doesn't fall out. <laughs> oh, yes, you can see my beautiful Home Depot clip lights. All right. Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is what it looks like. There's the legs on the back. Um, so I'll extend those down and I'll hopefully remember to take a picture while I'm out there so that you can see how this looks set up. But I'm going to go paint because we got beautiful late afternoon. Well, well, it's four o'clock. We have beautiful late afternoon light and I want to go capture it before it changes. So wish me luck. I used my phone to take a little bit of video here of the beautiful place where I set my easel up right on the edge of the stream marsh type area. And I was really nestled into these trees. You can kind of see the parking lot um, up ahead there, but it was really nice and secluded and I was able to stand there and paint for about an hour. It was so beautiful. Here you can see my pastels. It worked great. I just want to follow up. I just got back. The box worked perfectly. This is the painting that I did right here. Um, hopefully that comes, I'm going to turn the light down just a little bit. Sometimes it's a little mu bit much without light on to see. Um, but it worked out really well. Um, I taped this down to my, uh, to that um, kind of palette cover with some masking tape. And then to bring it home, I just took one of the pieces of glassine that came in the UART pad and just laid that right on top and it traveled perfectly. It wasn't even as heavy as I remember. Um, the only thing that um, that I might have wanted that I didn't have was just a bag for trash. I only brought two baby wipes because I figured I would use two, but not any more than that. I really only needed one to clean my fingers off and wipe down the, um, collect any dust because I just didn't want to leave pastel dust there. Uh, and I didn't, so I was planning I'd throw my trash right in that bag that I put the wipes in, but, um, uh, so I just have the trash in my easel stall, just throw it away. It wasn't much. I just wrapped it up in the baby wipe. It was just some of the pastel wrappers and a wipe, a baby wipe. That's all I have for trash. But it worked out perfectly, and um, I'm glad I did it. And I will do it again because that really makes pastel traveling plein air with pastels really easy. You don't have to wait for anything to dry. I think it turned out pretty well. I mean, you have to let me know what you think. But um, it was fun, and I'm so glad I got out on this beautiful day. This is just the perfect weather, 70 degrees, and light sun was going down. It was just the golden hour, and it was wonderful. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know how that worked out, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it inspires you to go do some plein air painting. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting. Bye!